Well, especially during the five years that I served as UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, I saw the dark side. I really did see man's inhumanity to man. It was mainly men that were responsible for that inhumanity. But um, I am, by nature, somebody who tries to see the positive. The glass may not be half full, it may only be an inch full, but it's more energizing to try to see. So what do I want to see? I want to see children in 2025 looking back through their teachers in astonishment at a cruel time when 30,000 children died every day of preventable disease or sheer hunger. 30,000 children every day is a silent tsunami of children under five each week. It's 52 tsunamis a year. And do we hear about it? Um, it it's, it's, it's absolutely shocking, the disconnects in our world. And we need more and more people who walk in both worlds and who connect both worlds. And I think those connections will bring home that we made the commitments in 1948, that human rights have to come back front and center. And that's my vision. When we talk about health, I'm talking here about HIV and AIDS, but actually we have a holistic. Health is about a functioning health system for all. In the poorest rural areas, in the inner city slum areas, nobody should be deprived of health and health care because they can't afford it. And there are all kinds of ways we can address that. And it is absolutely feasible to deliver on human rights. We have the resources to do it. They're just not focused in the right way. So I hope that um, by the time I'm ready to rest a bit in Mayo in the west of Ireland, that we will, we will actually take human rights seriously and we will have an ethical globalisation.